Hey everybody, Mark here at 8-Minute Axe. In today's video, I'm gonna show you why kicking off each practice session with a targeted warm-up exercise isn't just about loosening up. It is the key to real progress. Stick around as I break down three powerful warm-up exercises tailored for beginners, intermediate, and advanced players. If you apply these tips consistently, you'll see immediate and significant improvements. So let's dive in before you wander off to those tempting cat videos. I just wanna remind you to check out the Rock Lock. It's the first universal quick change strap lock. It literally clips on to any guitar, no tools necessary, no need to swap out your guitar's original hardware. It's as easy and effortless as this. Now I'm not a paid spokesperson for the Rock Lock, I'm the inventor, so it's a great way to support the channel. Details on how to get one are in the description. I've been coaching guitarists for over 25 years, and if there's one thing that consistently stands out, it's the power of a good start. Now you might wonder why focus so much on warming up? Are we just trying to avoid injury? Now while that's important, that's not the reason at all. Most of us struggle with distractions, from texts, to emails, to honeydew lists, or a million other things. A structured warm-up does two things. It sets a focused tone, and if you start with a quality warm-up exercise, even if your practice session only lasts for five minutes, you will have accomplished something. Think of your practice session like pushing a giant progress wheel. Every bit of quality practice nudges it forward. It's what I like to call moving the needle. It's a simple concept. If you do anything during the day that's gonna improve your playing, it's gonna make you that much better than the day before. Even a minute or two spent on effective techniques can make a difference, ensuring that you're always advancing. What do effective warm-up exercises look like? A quality warm-up exercise should focus on at least three different techniques. Whether it's timing, rhythm, phrasing, picking accuracy, fretboard knowledge, speed, dexterity, or just playing clean notes. I'm gonna take you through each of these warm-ups now. Here's a couple of best practices before we begin. You should use a clean tone and you wanna alternate pick every note. I highly encourage you to use a metronome. Playing in time is the most important thing. You wanna work through each of these exercises slowly, making sure that every note is enunciated clearly. If you're getting any fret buzz or choked out notes, you're probably doing it too fast. I encourage you to try all three of these exercises. The combination of the three of them hit just about every technique that you wanna practice. The first warm up is a twist on the classic spider exercise. It helps you learn the fretboard. We're gonna play this spider exercise chromatically. If we do this in groups of four, we're gonna go down one fret each time as we go up a string. To go from three to two, you don't have to move at all. When we go from two to one, we'll continue moving down a fret. You want to practice this ascending and descending. To make this a little more challenging, we can use groups of four and go up each string like this. And then when it's time to ascend to the next string, it's the same relationship. If you've made it this far and you're enjoying the video, please consider subscribing to the channel. A small gesture on your part makes a big difference on my end. Either way, I sincerely appreciate your time. The next exercise is without a doubt my favorite. So I call this painting the neck. We're gonna take a group of four frets. We'll use five, six, seven, and eight. And we're gonna use our index finger to play all the notes on the fifth fret, our middle finger for the sixth fret, our ring finger for the seventh fret, and our pinky for the eighth fret. We're gonna work our way from the first string here on the fifth fret to the sixth string on the eighth fret, like this. Once you have that mastered, you could try 
starting on the 6th string, 5th fret, and working your way to the 1st string, 8th fret. And if you really want to challenge yourself, you can try working from the 8th fret, 1st string, to the 5th fret, 6th string, like this. You can also do it in the other direction from the 8th fret 6th string to the 5th fret 1st string, like this. I encourage you to move this pattern around the fretboard. For the third warm up, we're going to play three octave arpeggios. So we'll continue to pick on A here. We'll start off with A major 7. A, C sharp, E, G sharp. A, C sharp, E, G sharp. A, C sharp, E, G sharp. A. to work out the fingerings. I'm not going to tell you what fingers to use, but make sure it's something logical. Let's take a look at the dominant seventh now. A, C sharp, E, G, A, C sharp, E, G, A, C sharp, E, G, A. Minor seven. A, C, E, G, diminish arpeggio. Full diminished. Once you can do these ascending and descending, you can start moving them around the cycle of fourths. If you start each practice session with one of these warm ups, you will improve quickly. Thanks for watching, and remember a little warm up goes a long way. Hit the like button, drop a comment with your thoughts or questions, and don't forget to enter this month's Van Gogh 12 string guitar giveaway. Most importantly, have a great day. I'll see you in the next video.